Hello guys, KP Shamino here with a new video for Cyberpunk 2077 and in this video I'm going to talk about quick hack components and how you need to get started with quick hacks. So there is not a lot of information going around. So I needed to start from scratch, tested everything, see how it works. Do I know everything? No, because it, it's a lot that you need to know. But I think that in this video, I can show you guys how you can do it the best way to get the components and how it works at the start. So I'm going to start first with the basics. So quick hacks is something very special. So you need to set up a little bit equipment before you can do it. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to go to cyberware and you need to set up something in your operating system like this. So something that is going to allow you to extract data, distract enemies and all that stuff. So that's very uh, simple. So you go to cyberware and that's the first step. If you don't have this, uh, this is by the way called the cyber tech. So uh, therefore it's very important. So you need to get the cyber tech. That's the first tool, but that's not all. So in a cyber deck, you can plug in quick hacks and those quick hacks you will find them here. If you go to inventory and you click here, you will see here the quick hacks and you can just stack them on your cyber deck. And every quick hack is going to do something. So you got a quick hack that is going to do uh, here this. Uh, then you got a quick hack that is going to uh, yeah do this. So this is the ping. A ping is very important. So you need to stack them up and those quick hacks they got tiers. So after 2.0 they got tier, tier 1 to 5 and that are the tiers. How can you get higher tiers? You can craft them or you can find, uh, yeah you can craft them or you can find them. Uh, that's how you get them. But it depends on your level and on your street cred. That's very important that you know that. So if you start the game you will not find the tier 5 like I do because I'm already high level. That's what you need to understand. So you stack the deck totally full with the quick hacks and then your material is ready. Then you can start doing quick hacks. But how do you do it? Very simple. So you push tap and if you push tap and you hover over something that is hackable, you will get like options that you can take. You can see it here. And those options are the options that are on your quick hack. So I told you guys just like this, I got a quick hack that gives a ping. So now if I push F, I can do this quick hack. Here we go. And now I got experience too for my Netrunner because you can get experience for Netrunner too. And Netrunner is this skill. So if you come to here, you see here Netrunner and every certain level is going to unlock something. That's very important. So that's the start. I'm not going to talk that much about the, the, the skills or perks that you need to take. But I'm going to show you guys two that I took. So you need to go intelligence for going hacking. Because you need to have intelligence to check in on access points and all that stuff. So what you need to do is. You need to take uh, intelligence of course. And I took two, uh, two perks here. I took this one, so automatically highlight nearby access point and cameras. Why? Because I'm going to show you guys now how you can get quick hack components. Because they are very important if you want to craft your own quick hacks and this one. So it reduces the sequence length required to hack access point by one. So it's going to make it simpler to do the minigame. Because what do you need to do? You need to do, you find an access point or a terminal, you access it and then you need to do uh, a game and if you win that game you get the stuff that you need to have of course you can make builds here too but i'm just a noob at this uh, part i need to figure that a little bit more out if you want to have a build that is a net runner you need to search on the youtube i think i'm not capable to give the right information but i can give you guys the starting information so that's all what you need to do and uh, what i'm going to show you guys now is we are going to get to an access point. There are two here. I'm going to show you guys the mini game, and I'm going to show you guys how you need to craft stuff and where you can find the 
the recipes for uh, quick hacking. The next part, guys, I'm going to talk about the crafting. So first of all, where can you find the crafting? So you need to go to inventory, then you go to crafting, and then there is an entire section for quick hacks. So I'm now at tier 5 because I'm high level and my street cred is very high too. But you can see here, I need for this quick hack, I need to have uh, 12 tier 5 quick hack components. So, uh, and how can you get the recipes? So you need to go to a Netrunner shop. So if you go to the map, it looks like this. So this is a Netrunner shop. So just go to there. Check out what kind of quick hack you want, buy the recipe, and then you can craft it. So we will find them over the map. They are not as common as the other vendors, but here is another one. So, but just put vendors on and then you can find them. If you go to Tochtan, there are two of them. One in the stadium and one over here, if I'm not mistaken. No, it's only in the stadium that we got one. So it's over here. There you can get the recipes. So... If you got the recipes, you need to get the components. How do you get them? You need to work your way up. I will show you guys right away in the next section how you can acquire them. Because there are two or three methods that you can do. But I'm going to start with the best one. But for example, if you start a game and you got a lot of, let's say, quick hack crafting components tier 1 or 2. You can build your way up to the highest rank. So... I think that you need to find them too, because I don't have tier 2 and 3. So probably you need to find them somewhere too. The components, recipes, I probably about with the Netrunner too, but I'm not sure. But I don't have them, but what can you do? So you craft, you go to crafting. And then you go a little bit down and you will see. So they look like this. No, this is not right here. So this is the tier 3 quick hat component. And you need to to get uh, to craft this, you need to have tier 2s. And then for the next one, of course, if you go a little bit further, let's have a look. This one, this is tier 4. So you need to have tier 3s. And then if you need to have the legendary ones, that's this one, you need to have, of course, tier 4s. So you can just craft your way up. So don't, if you level through the game, and you do quick hacks the entire time, you will have components enough. But keep them, don't sell them, because you will have them, uh, yeah, you will need them later on to craft the high tier quick hack components. So that's how you do it. You can find them, of course, too. I already told you guys that. So you can craft them, but you will find them too. I found quick hacks just in the world. You can buy them with the Netrunner too, if you want. Uh, but if you want to craft them, you do it this way. Now, I'm going to show you guys how you need to get the components. The next part, guys, I'm going to show you guys where you can get the components. So, the quick hack components. I think uh, at number one, for sure, the easiest way is uh, hacking quick hacks. And is hacking terminals. So, that's something that I'm going to show you guys right away. But where can you find them? Because they are not so easy to find. We already got a skill that they light up. But you can find them most of the time in gigs. So just two gigs. That's what I did too. I'm now in Night City. And I got here a terminal and a, an access point. Uh, so just do them. I'm not sure that they respawn back. Uh, that's always possible. Because the enemies come back. Maybe the data comes back to the points. I don't know. That's something that I need to check a little bit more into depth. But... Just two gigs and you will find a shitload of them. Another thing, what I saw was sometimes they are very hard to spot. Because they are very small. So here is an access point. No, it's not here. It's on the other side, I think. It's here. So they are not easy to find. I got even a marker on it now. That you can see them a little bit easier. But there is a trick that you can do. So you need to understand that access points and terminals. All the data goes to those positions. How can you see that? You just push your scanner with tap. And then you need to ping an electronic uh, equipment. So you can see here ping. And you will see that a lot of lines will always go to a certain position. And most of the time, that's the terminal or that's the access point. So that's how you can do it. That makes it a little bit easier. And of course, ping everything, do because you get Netrunner. Uh, 
yeah, experience from it. So it will go there. You can see it. Did you see all the lines going to the, there is a terminal. That's how you do it. So what I'm going to show you guys now is I'm going to show you guys how you need to hack an access point in the terminal. And then I'm going to show you guys something where I found a lot of components too. But that's for the DLC. If you don't have the DLC, you cannot do that. That are the airdrops. And I will show you guys that. So what do you need to do on an access point? You need to connect. You need to have 10 intelligence for this one. And how does it work? So most of the time, you got three settings that you can have. So one, two, and three. They are a little bit harder to get. You don't need to click on them. You just need to do them. And if you do them, you get them. And you can see what you get from it. So if you do the basic, you get just uh, dollars money. If you do it advanced, you will get quick hack crafting components. And you will get, what is the first one? I want to read it, but it does not want to come back. If you do all three of them, here, extract euro dollars and the crafting components. And if you do all three of them, you get uh, the quick hacks and the quick hacks crafting specs. So always try to go for three. How does it work? So the moment that you start clicking here, uh, it starts and you got 30 seconds. So you just need to take everything. So... You click here on E9 and then you can take something in this row. If you click on 55, you can take something in this row. And what you need to do is you need to make every row. So I need to take 7A, then 1C, then this is done, then 1C. But you cannot fail it. You always need to be in the same row. So we are going to start now with the highest because I want to do first this one. So 55, 1C, 7A. So if I start here, I cannot start with this one. So we need to start with another one. So 1C, FF55. 1C, we don't have the FF here. Here we got the FF. So if we take this one, do we got the 55 here? Yes. So we can now already do the second one very easy. And then we got 55. Do we got 1C? No, we cannot do it. But I will show you guys it because if you do this, so 1C, and then we got FF and then 55. So let's do this. 1C. Then FF, 55. So now 2 is already done. Can we do another one? So let's say 55, 1C, 7A. 55, if you take this one. No, it's not possible. It may be this, yeah? And 1C, okay, this is done too. Now 55, 1C. Are we lucky? 7A, yeah, we did it. So... It was a lucky because the third one I didn't saw. That was just luck. So, but it works. So if you do access interface now, you will see that you get a shitload because you did every tier. So I get the first one, the second one, and the third one. And now you need to see what you get and why I think this is the best to get crafting. Do you guys see it? All those tiers, of course, it depends on your level. I already told you guys it. So that was really good. I didn't get a quick hack. Here is another one too. Uh, this is the terminal. We are going to do the same game again. Let's open this. So you can see here is the terminal. We check in again. No, I need to do this good. One time clicking. And you can do the same again. So we are going to try. Once again, I start with two. One C, one C. One C, one C. Very easy. And then we got one C here. Oh, it's very easy. One C, F, and we got the third two. So one C, one C. Yeah, I clicked wrong, I think. No, no, no. 1C. Yeah, no, I'm doing it wrong at the moment. So let's try it here. I'm fucking it up. So this one. No. No. That was not good. I was a little bit confused at the end, but still, we uh, we got the components because the tier 2, once again. So you guys can see I made in this video, I got 130 quick hack components. By the way, of course, always save before you do that. If you, uh, if you fail, you can just load and you go again. Another thing that I'm going to show you guys, this is for the DLC, guys. So I got a save here. So let's have a look that I can find him. It was 2 p.m. yesterday. 
Uh, so here. So you can find them on airdrops too. It depends once again on your level, of course, that you got, that you got tier 5s and your street cred too, I think. But I found 12 or 20 of them in one airdrop. Uh, the tier 5s. So, uh, that's, uh, that's not bad. Here is airdrop from yesterday, the video too, if you guys want to check out how airdrops work. And here you can see here, I got tier 5, 20 quick hack components i will post airdrop video under this one too that was it guys a little bit of beginner's guide i hope it helps you guys how you can get the components and i see you guys in next video bye bye